I have wrapped the atomic long with a class app and expose two methods, increment and count, and both are delegating to the atomic long. So a bit of over-engineering for now. But um, what, what I'm doing here, I'm instantiating the, um, the app class called increment and then get the count, and I should see one, and I do. But let's say it is going to be a highly concurrent application with millions of transactions, and I would like to save some memory. So instead of using the atomic long, I would like to use the primitive long. And there is an interesting utility class called atomic long, uh, long field updata. And I have to specify the type. And uh, let's call this uh, the counter. And what I uh, have to do is to instantiate the class with new counter. And now it comes, I have to pass uh, the class and now the name of the field which is the long field and uh, it is going to be count so now um, I would like to replace the counter with volatile it has to be volatile long count and start with zero so now the counter increment and get I have to specify the instance and this is this and then uh, to get the counter value I have to invoke get and this. And I should get the same result with less memory impact. And I do.